the jab. By far his most sick with his right glove and fires a couple more jabs. Body shot is fight. Shot. Blocks the right under two to get going. Lovkins jabs upstairs. Of now there's a good one by Canelo. Early on. But with Can This is playing right into Glove to his favor. I believe. And now Golovkin expected to see in the early going. Seconds left in a tactical round. Golovkin again snap. The winner, I'd say. First round to Canelo Alvarez. The issue is can win a tactical round. We saw in the first fight. Right eye. Yes, from the hook. Good uppercut by Golovkin. In the Olympics, a dominant internet. Yes, he does. But oh, good oh, oh, shot. of landing a meaningful. A little heavier on that. Good yep. three-point combination by Canelo. Canelo's getting loose. Good. Golovkin can't box in the middle of the ring. It's why would he... He wants it? Canelo comfortable. Not giving him in the ground, so he can't back Canelo back. If Canelo... Just don't hook with the hooker. Canelo. By far, because he's got a hook for two. Don't get it wrong. Cut over his right, G. A good body shot. Our, our, our Ducks under another shot. Oh, good shot. Good body with a five to nothing A. Good hook. Dabbing here to try to put the round away. Here you see Canelo giving a fake jab and a lead left hook right there because Canelo, I mean, Triple G thought the hook, the jab was coming. He went for the jab and Canelo landed the best hook of the night so far. To the fighter and did nothing with regard to his eye. Giving him too much of something because he, and Golovkin can't see him. Do not. Body shot by Canelo. He continues to lead in that category. Easy, but you gotta get in, you gotta be aggressive. Good try by Triple G. Beautiful. And landing more now. Ten more landed punches so far in the fight. As in the first fight, coming from the jab. Guys, Canelo had success in the but it's doing more damage in the early. It's definitely more aggressive. He's leaning on his front foot. He's not backed out of the ropes a single time. That left hook missed. That one. But Canelo is the confident fighter in there, right? Behind the jab. This is where the left hook comes with more than in the moment. And that jab has cut his career with Triple G. Lance fall. Roy, you want it hard already, Max. He's not really used to that happening to him. He's breathing. He's very composed. But Canelo Lance is good for him. But you see the margin by which, and it's something that Triple G must have felt he needed. And throwing a good up jab that was probably one of his best straight on punches of the night. Stir Canelo up a little bit and made him uncomfortable. G is winning the CompuBox numbers of the fight. One, Canelo Alvarez. Jim, I thought Canelo was easy to score. I wouldn't argue so if one of the judges had it going the other way. Alvarez, very, very close. Left hook lands for Triple G. Tempted right hands for Lovkin. Great punches. Canelo's landing the crooked punches clean. Yep. That lands for Triple G. And good body shot by Canelo at the same time. It's a trading fight, just as was the kick, continuing to show amazing chins. Amazing chin, a very good jab has given him a little bit of an advantage, I feel. These are, these are. For Canelo, he's got offer Triple Z. That's what he needs to do more of, or at least in the eyes of the fight with that jab, though. Was making him throw more punches with it. But so far, guys, we're in the fourth round. Triple G has not created any real fun. He's not put his punches together. He has isolated moments, and then Canelo comes back and counters. Oh, good shot. And his body works two up there. Triple G, 10 guy comes right back with his own body shot. Triple G did not. He comes back with stiff jackhammer jab. Max, I'm going to tell you about this uppercut right here. See this uppercut, Triple, Triple G lands. Yep. Watch the body shot that he missed. Luckily, Canelo missed that body shot, or we might have had a down fighter that round. But that was a beautiful uppercut. Landed by at ringside. And now we go to round five of the scheduled 12. I saw him working on the corner. Triple G had the red spot over the right eye. And now there's blood on his beard from that cut. I mean, Triple G seems determined to take the hook up. Canelo doing something to Triple G that Triple G has never seen before, Jim. He's constantly stalking him like that. Triple G is going to fight, trust me. To change the momentum of this fight. He is in fast. That's a good uppercut. I mean, good Triple G. Canelo stayed in the center Mexico. of the king just as much as Triple G. Now, Triple G looked like he's fading a little bit, Max. Fighting on the perimeter and backing up and not coming. Everybody has to be killed running to a big punch. Good body shot. Punch him. And still the body attack seems most. But he lands his jab continuously. 
And it's all a matter of what do the judges want to look at as Triple G. Again, yeah, like, like the first fight, Triple G showing a beautiful jab right there against Canelo. Right there on that cut, missed it with the hook. But then Canelo's right back and landing the power shot, which is a overhand right, boom, right there on the eye of Triple G. So Triple G again being successful with the Jets. Canelo brings it for the fans, for boxing. Canelo's doing exactly what they wanted him to do. Triple G is left. And Canelo's just going to get better because he's used to fight like this. Good body shot with the left hand by Canelo. He's just going to get better at it. Triple G has base. And the jab is probably. Canelo was cut over the left eye in two previous fights. At, at this point, Love can up three rounds to two. And that's not winning the fight necessarily. Is that he can't force Canelo to go back, Max. He would push him back if he stopped. That's what Canelo does. Right back hand up. that lands for Golovkin. If Canelo wants to back up, that's what he does. So could many punches in this round. Left hook over the top for Golovkin. Canelo reaching with the right hand. Good left hook to the body by Canelo. He's going to allow him, but he got to be kept off of that. That's what Canelo's working on. Left hook and up by Canelo. And Triple G saw him really good defense too, Max. He's pretty much blocking that body shot. Man, for both of them. <laughs> fight though, Max. It's not his fight. That's exactly, exactly right. He's who's dictating the fight. Like he did the first fight. Canelo used to be right one of the first rounds of an landed shot, according to Copy Box. 17 oh. seconds to See go. See that, guys? Triple yep. G waved him in. Now he's getting hit, and Triple G is getting used to the contact and egging Canelo on. Really tired, Max, because he's not used to this style of fight. Canelo used to this kind of fight. Canelo has had several of these kind of fights. Harold Letterman, how did you score the first six rounds of the fight? Okay, Jim. I got it three rounds apiece. I got it all even. 57, 57. Very nice fight, Jim. Uh, I gave rounds three, four, and five. Let me send five to Gennady Golovkin. But uh, I thought Canelo came back to tie it up. I've got it all even. Round in which Canelo landed more, many more jabs at Canelo. Canelo continues to throw many more body shots and land more body shots than Golovkin. It's not enough to win the story of the fight, Roy, after all. And if the end, good indication the judges do. Max, if he outstalks, if he stalks Triple G like this the whole fight, there's no way they're going to give Triple G this decision because he's taking him completely out of his game. First fight, this type of fight, he's forced the issue and had his way when he wants it. There's no way they're going to give Triple G this pace. Canelo is not planning on going to the score. Oh, he's, not. he's looking for the knockout, which is, of course, dangerous against Triple G. <laughs> to this point. Hard jab by and landing a left hook. Canelo willing to take one from Golovkin to land one. That's fair that before a big fight like this, a fighter exactly what he says he's going to do. Canelo said he's going to take more risk. Canelo meant exactly what I thought he meant and tonight. Ain't nothing able and nobody else can do about it. Good right. 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 But he left hook. hook. Canelo, I mean, for Triple G. Triple G is that and then walking to the neutral corner as the guy falls. He see a beautiful uppercut landed by Triple G, but the difference now is he landed and then he catches the right hand straight back. Canelo answering right away because Canelo knows how to fight this style of fight, Jim. This is the fight Canelo wants. Give and take. A clear sign he's trying to motivate Golovkin to open up and take more risks and throw more hard shots in the second half. It's like I told Max, Abel Sanchez knows that fighting this style of fighting, if they go to 12, give a Triple G that decision. And for what it's worth, Harold Letterman gave the round to Golovkin. thing in this fight that I see is that Canelo trusts his beard. He believes he can take Triple G's shots. So the counterpuncher has become the hunter. The stalker. Hard right hand by... And Abel Sanchez is right. Triple G's going to have to take more risks and try to match power with power. Whereas his power quotient is going up from round to round. You better believe it. And Triple G landed a good jab, Jim. I can't take He's determining and dictating. He's landing the punishing shots, too. Right, for the most part, they're both landing punishing shots. But Canelo is the guy you'd rather be in. Most shots are devastating. And increasingly, it looks to me like Golovkin's going to have to leave one of those for us in order to win that fight. He's going to have to turn it around with a... He's taking a lot of punishment. Possible, Max. Either Golovkin has Daniel Jacobs when it appeared... Canelo will... I mean, Triple G will steal the test. So let's see what happens now. Harder punches. But a cut opened up over Alvarez's left eye, too. Hard right, right hand for Golovkin. Golovkin is landing more punches and significantly more jabs. Harold Letterman now has Golovkin sneaking ahead on his scorecard by a point. I'm surprised. I will say in the last round, it's his punches seem to affect Canelo toward the end of the round. Here took a little bit more risk. 
That's the first round I seen that really had control of the fight. Triple G with that stiff jab. Oh. Now lands a right hand again. Canelo comes back with his counter shots. Lands a right hand over the top. Triple G comes right back, firing with energy. Center rings. For a round. Takes a lot to fight like this, Jim. This is a tough fight by two brilliant fighters. And Canelo is making it work right now, on purpose. And he do it again and put the fight away. On the line. Summon the greatness that fueled the middle of that career. And restore the leg. Only a few more rounds to see. Oh, good Hard right hand by Canelo Alvarez. Triple G trying to... It's an Alvarez round so far with 30 seconds to go. Big left hook for Golovkin. Triple G is fatigued. And the cut is getting bigger over Canelo yeah, Alvarez's yeah. left eye. Judges score blood, too. Triple G on the attack. Explains how tough this fight is to judge. Watch what happens here, Jim. You see Canelo, uh, Triple G with the right hand, Canelo with the right hand, and a hook, and then Triple G come back and answer with the hook. That's two to two, two very good punches by two very good fighters. No doubt about it, every single round close as you can get. And, you know, uh, as I say, I've got it six to three, but if any of the judges had it the, the opposite way, I wouldn't argue, because each round is close. I mean. Get standing in the middle of the ring, battery, Gennady Golovkin. Andre right. Ward, a great fighter, closed the show and knocked his guy out. Does Canelo have it? I'm not sure. I think this is so difficult to fight the score. I could very easily see a judge having Canelo up six rounds to three, just the way Harold has Golo steps it up. He could go for the stoppage. But then Golovkin comes through with shots and like that. Two hard power shots and suddenly has Canelo standing still and momentarily in trouble. But let's see if Triple G still has the magic. Canelo looked hurt by that, but he's firing back. He did look hurt. That was the most hurt. Canelo has Upton. But it Canelo's back on the attack. And going forward again. And outlanding triple in hand. Hard by Canelo. Triple so much the story it. of the fight. Yes, sir. Another hard right hand for Golovkin. And with his jab. The trouble for Canelo. Just score this round. They're going to be remembering that rally by Triple G that might Shot. Shot. Finally. Another body shot by Golovkin with the right hand. Meantime. Good hook by Triple Great hook by Golovkin. Killer. Body shot for Canelo. In the heat of the battle, Gennady Golovkin appears to have won the 10th round when most he needed it. Triple G's best right hand of the night. He came behind that same jab with a beautiful straight right hand over the top. Right on the jaw of Canelo's. Doesn't get much better than that. Beautiful straight right hand right there on the eye. Made the eye start back bleeding again. Very good punch by Triple G. In his type of fight, Triple G was sucking air and being rocked. And in the rounds, Triple G has fought his way back in to the point where it looks like he could change the outcome of this fight. Yes, he has. Adaman, our unofficial score, has Triple G ahead in the fight. The difference thus far, he hits them the way he's hit Canelo. And here Canelo is throwing back. Oh! And Triple G making... Landing power shot with shot the 11th shot. round. And triple that right hand by Triple G upstairs is the best punch of the fight. Yes, it Trying is. To save his career. His career needs a win. How is Canelo coming forward throwing power shot? Amazing recovery by Canelo Alvarez. He does. He's real Mexican style for real. A this minute left in the round. Still on the table. <laughs> this time Triple G found. Alvarez needs a rallied hand. And then limit Alvarez to one shot at a time. And there's a hard left hook. And a hard right uppercut by Alvarez. Alvarez and another one. A couple of real big right hands in the last 30 seconds. Another good right hand. Now, gonna have to take that another right good hand right hand. From Alvarez. To end that round. And here he comes oh. again. Hard left hook by Golovkin. Dab lands for Golovkin. Golovkin landing power shots. Over the second half, the power shots upstairs. Else on fire the last several rounds. Willing this fight and rocking Canelo. Joe, this has been a drama show. Going and throwing. Alvarez lands power shots and rear six ball. Down the stretch they come. To go.
Alvarez fighting as though he will count. Only. These are two middleweight greats. Any era. Both of them. A minute to go. Who has the last rally? Golovkin landing power shots. Being busy in the center of the ring is what both... Left hook exhausted on their feet. Ten seconds to go. Up for Golovkin. Who gets the last shot? Golovkin with a right hand. New WBC 